Hey. Hi. Hey. Am I? Yeah. Ah, cool. Um, it's got a red dot anyway. All right. Uh, so, JK Fantasy Football League week. What are we in? Seven now. All right. Congratulations uh, for making it this far because it's a death match, obviously. But also to Jer not Jerry's Cowboys for getting their first win by beating me. Uh, really soundly, actually. Um, I felt terrible about my, about my team looking at it this week. I was like, this is just inconsistent. It's time to stop the bravado here. But um, looking across the league, and I haven't been able to uh, look at all of it as much as I usually do. Um, but like most of us didn't crest 100 points this week. It's just weird. It's not just my team. Lots of people scored in the 80s just like me. I'm not alone. I'm not the only one with this problem. First thing, first step is admitting I have a problem. Uh, which is that my team is too awesome and it's going to win everything. Uh, but uh, as of yet, I ha hasn't demonstrated the consistency I need. So it's going to be fun finding out how it does that. Uh, no, but seriously, uh, every week's been a weird scoring week in some small way. There are lots of high scores, lots of low scores. Uh, studs not performing. Uh, Odell Beckham finally went off, but I don't think it helped uh, the team's owner. I forget who has him right now. Um, sorry, but I know they didn't win despite it. Um, Goofy Ridge Runners is uh, consistently scoring uh, high in the 150s there, so they're probably pretty happy with their Lamar Miller trade. Congratulations. Uh, and so too, probably are not Jerry's Cowboys, since Matt uh, Ryan seems to be uh, the real deal for longer than a month this this year, so that's good. Um, what else? Uh, I'm underprepared and sitting in a weird shed-like bunker, if you can see, uh, because this week is... Uh, uh, JK Knives arrived week. Uh, that was meant to flip the camera again. Okay. Um, so here you go. I've got lots of stuff to work out. Uh, and frankly, Knives are more interesting than new people. Uh, so, <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to keep up with my uh, commissionly ob obligations of uh, crowning myself king and sitting on my throne and never actually having to do anything. Um, don't tell me what. Uh, I'm probably going to be in the middle of something else every time uh, I'm called upon to do a video these days. So, um, set your waiver wires uh, claims this week. Uh, names that I know off the top of my head, because you guys wouldn't trade me two for one, as if uh, Randall Cobb is nothing. Um, uh, Cam Meredith, I'm probably not going to get him back this week, but uh, uh, you'd think I get tired of saying I told you so, but I really don't. Uh, he, he's probably a good picker since he's scored 20 points two weeks in a row and seems to be Matt uh, Brian Hoyer's binky uh, as, as well as just everything else. He's just getting extreme volume. And I was hoping to pick up this guy last week, but again, I can uh, find a good guy to drop, find a good trade. Um, and I don't know why, but I'm masochist, so I keep telling you things. Um, CJ Anderson owner, you really should have picked up Booker last week or the week before. I don't know, he's going to go off, but his workloads continue to increase, and CJ Anderson struggled last week, and I think Bucker actually scored a little bit, they both did terribly, but yeah, Bucker's now a target, I think, for more than one person in the league, um, so he's out there. Um, I don't want to tell you about these things. Uh, Dion Lewis, the other guy I've been trying to find room on my bench for to pick up, he's not going to come back for another two weeks, but people are going to start talking about him now, especially since James White, who's really nowhere near as good from what smart people tell me, you know, so, <laughs> uh, about football, um, uh, he's eligible to come back in two weeks, I think, so he'll, his hype train will start to get rolling. Um, Crowder, as long as Jordan Reed is out. Uh, I think Crowder's going to pick up a lot of those targets that Jordan Reed's leaving behind. I thought maybe Niles Paul, but no, it's going to be Crowder. It looks like, just like it was the first few weeks uh, when Reed wasn't getting the targets for no some unknown reason. Now he's getting it because, now he's not getting them because he's got a concussion. And last time he had a concussion, he was out for a pretty long time. That's no indication, of course, but could be. Crowder's, he's not going to be your, 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 your league winner, but he's going to keep being consistent. He even was, but from one week when Jordan Reed was in. And so he, he's interesting. Someone's got Cole Beasley, I think. He's the same type of player. Um, same type of upside and uh, floor as well. Um, Tory Smith. I'm not sure if you dropped him, Cowboys. Um, I still wouldn't rush out to get him, but uh, Kaepernick can actually throw it that far. <laughs> uh, over Gabbert. Uh, so maybe you know, he'll continue to be relevant. Um, other running backs that are on the waiver wire. 
Uh, James Starks is out for at least four weeks. He's out longer than Lacey, and Lacey's still injured as well, so God knows what's going to happen there. That's fine. Um, who else have I had my on or after this week? What happened this week? Did they play games this week? Another running back. Oh, Jay Ajayi. Sorry there, buddy. I know you had him in a trade block for a while, but you dropped him and he finally went off. Um, he's got a lot of talent, originally from England, I have you know, and played football to start with, real football, not this, this handball thing. Um, and Wes Welker also always said that helped with his spatial awareness. Because apparently all the NFL players are scholars now. But anyway, it always interests me. And he went off against the Steelers, which is no mean feat. But apparently the defense was terrible all around. So maybe it was just a one-off. Arian Foster is back. But he was back this week too. And Jay Ajayi, who has been getting the workload, might continue to get it. He's on the waiver wire. Um, not telling you not to get him. Uh, I looked at him. I, I don't know. His schedule is hard coming up. It might be a one-off. He's, he's definitely someone you should pick up against okay, a running back. Uh, you know, he's going to be needed by someone. Uh, but yeah, that's the other name I was trying to remember. And also, Jamjilla Williams. Not that I'm hoping that anything happens to Le'Veon Bell. I'm really hoping he doesn't get injured. But, you know, it would be the third straight year that he's come in and then had to leave for one reason or another. Uh, and D'Angelo Williams has been awesome. Uh, he's still on the waiver wire. If you're looking to stash someone uh, at RB and as... Um, I think Andrew mentioned I'll be a, a, a core, a more consistent core of a team. Um, and he's still out there, and he keeps looking at me. He's teasing me. Maybe I should pick him up or something. Um, plenty of tight ends, obviously. I think Hunter Henry's still out there, who really does seem to be uh, real. And um, as a rookie tight end, that's uh, particularly weird, but awesome because who doesn't need more tight ends um, that are consistent, at least, because we don't normally get those. So I'm playing with my wood. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> all right. Set your waiver claims. I'll run by tomorrow morning. Uh, good luck uh, for week seven. Congratulations to week six. Uh, so many three and three teams. Uh, uh, just not breaking away from the pack, apart from the goofy Ridge Runners. And uh, I'm really rooting for not Jerry's Cowboys. You know, he's a rookie. He's running with Dak Prescott. You've got to admire that. Um, kick the ultimate champion of the league as uh, butt this week. And so, you know, I, who doesn't live an underdog story? So he's one and four now. Hopefully he can put three uh, weeks together and, uh, and come out fifth at uh, 500 uh, and uh, run away into, into the playoffs. I think that would be cool to see. So good luck. And what else? Want to see some knives? You have to look at the other videos. Let's see you again.